Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is a ministry of scripture verse by verse where you can study the Bible verse by verse from Genesis through Revelation 3 complete series using my audio Bible messages at thebibleversebyverse.com. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask a Bible question. I find that sometimes when we study the Word of God, questions come into our minds, and uh, it's good to be able to ask what a particular verse is talking about. So if you have a Bible question, I will give you my email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send it to me, and I'll do my best to give you a Bible answer. Well, we have a question today from a listener who's been studying in the book of Romans. And the, and the question is, what did Paul mean by saying that we Christians have become dead to the law? And the writer is referring to Romans chapter 7, verse 4. Let me read it. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. And I think along with that verse, I should also read a parallel passage in chapter 6, verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Okay, Jesus kept the law perfectly. He lived a sinless life, something that you and I could not do, and yet something that is required for entrance into heaven. God demands sinless perfection. Jesus was that. And then he died on the cross when he didn't have to die because the wages of sin is death. And he never sinned. So he didn't die for himself. He died to pay for our sins. And the Bible puts it this way. He is the just for the unjust so that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. So, to begin with, I want to answer this question by saying Jesus paid for our sins. When we receive him as Lord and Savior, he takes away all of our sins and he gives us his righteousness. So we stand before God perfect in the, in the sight of God, justified in the sight of God. So we don't strive to be saved by trying to be good enough. We're not under the law in that sense. We have been set free under the law, not of, not of right and wrong, not under the moral law as an attempt to get saved. We are under the law of Christ, which means we are set free to serve Jesus out of appreciation and love for what he has done for us on the cross. And a real Christian will want to do that because when you receive Jesus Christ, not only are your sins taken away, which you really appreciate. And not only are you not going to hell, which you really appreciate, not only when you die do you know you're going to heaven, and you know all these things are true because of Jesus, and you appreciate all those things very much, not only that, but you are given the Holy Spirit. He comes to live inside of you, and he stirs the heart of a true Christian who he indwells to serve Jesus out of love. The Holy Spirit loves Jesus. And when the Holy Spirit is in you, he stirs your heart to serve Jesus out of love. A true Christian is not under the law in the sense that, oh my, I have to keep this commandment to be right with God. Well, no, you need to keep that commandment to enjoy fellowship with God, but you're saved, you're cleansed, you're justified, you keep the commandments out of love for God. Not because God is holding a hammer over your head, threatening to send you to hell. That's what it means to be dead to the law. You're dead to the law, but alive to Christ. And he's the most important thing to you if you are saved. If you have a question, please send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.